And it's been more than a month now since the brutal death of Lissandro Guzman Jr. Feliz. And today, there are signs of life inside that bodega at the center of the tragedy. News 12 Nights head reporter Carmen Grant has more from outside that East 184th Street deli with this exclusive story you will only see on 12. It's been a month and three days to be exact that the bodega was forced to shut down earlier today. Its doors reopening for cleanup as officers stood by to guard the store and its employees. The front gate of the Cruz and Cheeky store is open, not for business for now, but for cleaning. Bag after bag of discarded food were carted out from the neighborhood store Monday afternoon. The family now in the process of salvaging what they can from inside the longtime business. Francisco Marti knows the family and is a member of the Bodega Association. He says all the store's refrigerated and perishable items are now spoiled. All of the milk, all of the yogurt, a lot of meat, a lot of food that was ready to, to cook for the next day. He says since the junior tragedy, the bodega has been plagued by threats from some who believe the owner didn't do enough to help Junior. For more than a month, the store has been unable to open because of mounting seething anger and threats. Kamara stopped by at the memorial outside the store where Lazandra Guzman Feliz, known as Junior, was brutally stabbed. She had this reaction, seeing the bodega's front doors open. Yeah, it's, not, it's not a good feeling at all. Seeing them gates open is, is unbelievable. A family member of the store owner told me off camera that he still fears for his business as well.